Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I recently resigned from my full-time job as a kindergarten teacher and now I am here to show you guys how I take old furniture and give it a new purpose and a new life. Today is gonna to be a little bit different though because we're not doing a piece of furniture. Instead, we are gonna be building a much needed staging wall in our new workshop. So we're gonna take you guys along our trip to Home Depot to get our supplies and along the journey of us building this staging wall by ourselves. Last time I had my dad and my neighbor helping me. This time it's pretty much just gonna be me doing it on my own. So we're gonna see how this goes. And Neiman might help a little bit too. <laughs> he gave me a silly look. The first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna measure how long I need to get to the pieces. And I am thinking that I'm gonna need two panels. I'm not for sure which style I'm gonna be getting this time. Last time I did the gray panel walls. I might wanna switch it up this time. So in our workshop here, we've got this little stairway and there's already these two beams that are here that we thought would be perfect for a little mini staging wall. And I know that the panels are four feet wide, so I'm gonna measure and see how many panels we are going to need. And I'm thinking it's gonna be two. Okay. So it's 78 inches. So that means that that is less than eight feet, but I'm also, my thought is that when we put the two panels up, that I will just have one of them kind of extend past this side a little bit, and it'll be okay, because we'll just nail it to this pole, or this piece of wood, and then if it hangs off a little bit, that'll be just fine. Also, we're gonna need another beam here in the middle to hook it to, and then I'm thinking a beam here across the back as well, just for some extra support. In my garage staging wall back at my parents' house, we already had a flat surface wall, and so that was pretty easy to just kind of stick it up to it. But since there's nothing in the middle here, I'm gonna make sure that that gets support in the middle as well as on the sides. And I don't have a nail gun, so we're probably also gonna be making that investment so that we can make this staging wall more efficiently. Let's head to Home Depot. Okay, we made it to Home Depot, and the first thing that I wanted to do is stop here by all of the nail guns and see which one will work best for us. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this one because it allows me to have the battery pack here. So this is just rechargeable, and I don't have to worry about that whole air compressor and all of that jazz. So we're gonna grab that. I really like DeWalt tools. Uh, from Tom giving me those drills. I've really enjoyed using those, so I think I just wanna stick with the same brand through all my tools, so I'm gonna be beginning to invest in some DeWalt tools, and this is gonna be my first personal investment. DeWalt, I would love to have some more tools soon. I've gotta get some nails to go along with the nail gun. So I'm gonna do some one inch nails because this is gonna allow it to go through the panel to the board and I don't need it to be much longer than that because the panel's really thin. And then if you see the tops of them, that's gonna allow me to not be able to see that mark as well as maybe like a regular nail. So another reason why I wanted to get one of these. I'm just gonna get a couple packs so that I make sure to have enough and we don't have to come back. Let's move on to the paneling. Keep in mind, we're gonna have more than one staging wall eventually, but I think that this one is gonna be the most versatile right now until we've got some time to build some more staging walls. Some of the other options they've got are this neutral brick color, 
this wood color, just basically plain paneling. Ugh. I think we're gonna go with the white, kind of more farmhouse look. Farmhouse rustic. Again, the reasoning being just because it's more neutral and it'll just help us with multiple projects as opposed to just being cut out for one, which is really something that you wanna pay attention to when you're building your staging wall. Think about what can be the most versatile for multiple styles of furniture. Let's get these loaded up. Okay, and I wanted to introduce to you my friend Kat here. She's gonna be helping us around the workshop and the house and the farm and just with a bunch of different things. So she is actually a friend from high school. I've known her for, geez, I don't even know, like 10 years probably, 11 years maybe. Long time. Yeah, so freshman year of high school and she's actually got a twin sister, so you might see her around as well, but they're some of my best friends. So welcome Kat to the channel. Good on the paneling and now I just wanna get some two by fours to make sure that we've got enough support around when we put these up. Guys, the prices of wood kind of went down a little bit measure how tall they were but I'm probably just gonna grab like four of these and then that way I know I'll have enough for both putting them together uh, across if I need to and then also up and down obviously the amount of wood um, two by fours that you get kind of depends on your setup for us I think that four is enough, but for you, you might need more or you might even need less. If you're thinking about doing a staging wall, you just need to make sure that everything is attached and that it's not gonna start lifting. So that's just something to keep in mind. We're gonna go ahead and check out and load it up in Felipe. On the way out, I'm gonna grab a hammer because you guys know Neiman broke my other hammer. <laughs> Okay, you broke the hammer. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna grab this one and it's DeWalt. And I also grabbed some safety goggles because safety first. Now let's check out. So the paneling. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. Shut up. <laughs> You're welcome. So the paneling was about $25 each. So our investment so far is about 50. And then right now the lumber was about $5 per piece. So that is another $20. So about $70 in, so not too bad. And that's obviously not including this, the nail gun, but if you need to invest in one of those, DeWalt is a great brand. And I'm saying that and they don't even sponsor us. Time to get loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my new nailer kit. I feel like all DeWalt tools come with a little bag. It's pretty handy. And it came with a battery. Not sure if it'll be charged or not, but luckily I've got some 20 volt batteries for my drills. So I can use those so that we can get started right away. Oh, this is this is pretty big, but I think it's gonna be perfect because I'll just hold it with two hands and I don't have that big air compressor um, hose attached to it. So that'll be a really nice addition to be able to use the battery pack instead. So I'm gonna read the directions real quick just to make sure that I know what I'm doing when it comes to using this. And then we'll head over to the staging wall area so that we can start placing some pieces of wood. We're just getting the settings right. You can kind of decide how far in you want the nail to go. So the first time it went in like really far 
sunk it in, so I'm just adjusting that. So for this, I don't want it to go in super far. One, because honestly, the panel is really thin, so it'd probably just go all the way through it and basically make a hole in it and not really secure it. So I really need to make sure that it doesn't go too far past the surface of the panel. I think we are golden. This isn't gonna be used quite yet, so I'm gonna show you guys what the plan is. The first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this two by four and attach it to this other two by four. So that way we can make it flush with the other column that is already up. So I'm gonna grab my drill and drill some holes so that then we can screw in the screws so that that will stay right there. I've got my drill that I'm going to do the pilot holes in. This just helps the screw go in later and then it also just helps with the wood not cracking. And then I did five, I believe, on here. I think that'll be enough to hold this in place. All right, I have attached one to the side. I attached one to the bottom so that that can be attached um, down there just so it doesn't flop out and stuff like that once I get it all nailed in. And then I'm gonna measure for this next one. It's gonna go across the middle. Basically, it's gonna have the edge of both panels on it and then I'm gonna nail it there. I know what I'm thinking in my head. I feel like I'm not doing the best job of explaining it, but I, I need to measure and see. So the panels are four feet. So I'm gonna measure four feet. They're four feet and I'm putting them sideways. So that means they're gonna be four feet tall. And I'm just gonna mark four feet here. And four feet over here. Okay. And the reason I did that is so that I know exactly where I'm going to put this next board across right here. You guys, it's really hot today. It's like it's supposed to be 99 and then humid. So sorry about the sweat, but you know, life goes on and we've got a staging wall to build. I'm gonna do one more across the top so that we can hang the top panel up there. All right, all three of them are assembled. Now's the fun part. I get to break out my brad nailer and we're gonna attach starting on the bottom and then we'll go to the top one. So this is gonna be perfect because I'm gonna be able to attach it to this board here. There's plenty of room. And then I'll put the other board here attached to the one up top and there'll be plenty of room for it to be connected. Okay. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is flush to the boards. And actually, we need that level. <laughs> I just want to make sure that this panel is actually level. Yeah, it'll do. The reason I wanted to do that is because I could always maneuver it just a tad bit and make a little space at the bottom if it wasn't completely level. Because if these horizontal lines were lopsided, that would look really odd in the staging photos. All right, ready guys? I read the directions. 
Did all the things, so I think I'm ready to use this. I used it on some test pieces. Got my safety goggles on. This little trigger, it only allows you to trigger the nails to come out if it is fully in. And then you'll also hear that. So you can see, but barely see the nails that we're putting in. That's the goal. We don't want to be able to see those. Uh, so that's why I chose such small ones. This is working out perfectly. Great investment. Now I'm gonna go along the bottom to attach it to this bottom board. So again, just so that it doesn't start flopping. Probably don't need as many nails down here. At first I was a bit nervous about this part, like just flopping too much. And I was thinking of putting some more wood panels here to kind of match up. But I really think that these two are gonna be just fine for these panels to stay sturdy. And on top of this staging wall, I just kind of thought of this. It kind of allows this back here to be more storage, which we already have, but it'll kind of be blocked. So that's another nifty spot. Now comes the tricky part of lifting it up here while at the same time nailing it in. Kat's gonna assist me and Neiman's gonna assist me because we need to make sure that we get this level. All hands on deck. You guys it's freaking hot we earned it today but that staging wall looks amazing and now i actually recently just flipped a piece for the dixie belt channel so that'll be on on friday but i'll give you guys a little sneak peek because i want to stage it with our new staging wall so i'm going to grab the rug and i'm going to grab the piece of furniture and then we're going to see how this looks in photos I've seen people put blankets in drawers for staging and so I wanted to try it. I don't really know how it goes, so I'm just trying it out, trying something new. If you got any tips on blankets in drawers for staging, let me know down in the comments because I really do want to do this, but I just, maybe my blanket's too bulky. I don't know, I don't think that looks too bad. We'll try it for some photos with and some photos without. And then our staging wall is gonna be complete and it's even gonna have its first photos taken in front of it. I am loving the way that it looks. Surprise dresser. Hope you guys like it. If you wanna see the full makeover on this dresser, again, head over to Dixie Bell's channel for our FFT Fridays that we do every Friday. This will be coming out this Friday, August 6th. You guys, this staging wall was so simple to make, actually much more simple than I even thought it was, even after I made the first one, but this staging wall was made for under $100. That's right. We got $25 for each panel, so that's 50, plus the wood boards was about 20 more dollars, so 70, and then the nails were another $5. And then obviously I had to buy the Brad nailer, but Chances are you've got one or a neighbor's got one or something like that. So to actually just physically build it, it took us about an hour and then it took us about $75. You guys can do this too. It is so easy. Just take a look at this video again. It's step by step and it just upscales your furniture photos and staging area that much more and it, you keep it under $100. So it's not very big of an investment up front, but then 
the look and style of your photos going forward when you're selling things. It's just way more appealing when you've got a backdrop that looks awesome. I can guarantee that it's going to help your sales and that you will make your return on investment in just a few flips. You guys have been asking for this video, so I am so glad to be able to bring it to you. We were in major need of a new staging wall. We were just kind of getting by with the kitchen area inside of our workshop. We're so happy to have our staging wall back so that we can continue making awesome photos and posts for our clients and our buyers. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you on Thursday for another furniture flip. So get subscribed down below and also don't forget to get subscribed over on our vlog channel, The Flip Side with Lauren and Neiman. We would love to see you over there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you on the flip side.